Hey everybody, what's up? Tim here. I hope wherever you are today, you are doing awesome and smashing it. Thanks so much for watching. So a couple of years ago, my family and I were watching a Pittsburgh Penguins game. Now, we are huge hockey fans, huge Pens fans, love the Pens, go Pens. In this particular game, the Pens were playing the Canadians in Pittsburgh. And the game was tough, and it was hard, and it went all the way into the third period and ended up being a tie. And they went through overtime, and nobody scored a winning goal, so now they went to a shootout. And each team took turns shooting at the other team's goal. And finally, it came down to Sidney Crosby, the captain of the Pens, taking a shot at the goal. And everybody knew if Crosby put this shot in, the Pens would win. Crosby stepped up to the line, skated down the ice, moved to the left and moved to the right, shot, put the puck in the net, and everybody went ballistic. But if you look at the footage, if you look at the video, what did Crosby do? Did he do a victory dance? Did he skate all around the ice telling everybody how great he was? No, he simply raised his arms in the air, skated over his teammates, gave him a hug, fist bumped a couple people, went over, hugged his goalie, Pens went into the locker room, game was over. Crosby acted like he'd been there before. Crosby acted like it was no big deal. And all the pressure was on him, right? He was on national television. He was in front of a crowd of tens of thousands. The game literally lay in his hands. And there was all this expectation that he was the captain, all this expectation that he would go on and win the game. But did he let that affect him? No. Did he let that bother him? No. Because in his mind, Crosby knew that it was no big deal. And a lot of times, you and I make things a really big deal. We make them bigger than they are. We add all kinds of drama, all kinds of thought, all kinds of worry. And what happens when we make things a great big deal is we almost put them into the realm of the impossible. And we almost sabotage ourselves. We make the rules for succeeding so hard that we find it impossible to get there. So one of the best things you and I can do is just simply to say, this is no big deal. You got a financial goal, it's no big deal. You're going to get there. You got a dream or vision you want to achieve, it's no big deal. You're going to get there. You got a problem you're trying to get through or something that you're trying to overcome, it's no big deal. You're going to get there. I'm going to get there. And once we demystify things by making them possible, once we no longer make them so big that it's going to take all this time and energy, simply by understanding they're no big deal, we act like we've been there before. And if we've been there before, we know we can do it. And the chances of us going in there successfully and navigating through whatever it is we need to navigate through or overcoming or achieving or doing or becoming greatly increases because we've been there before. If you've done it before, you can do it again. So simply start practicing the words, it's no big deal. A relationship seems to be going south, it's no big deal, I'll fix it. You get a huge promotion, things that you've never done before, challenges you've never seen, it's no big deal. A client gives you a massive order, it's no big deal. You're trying to lose weight, it's no big deal, I'll get there. You got a dream or vision that seems impossible, it's no big deal. I've done these things in the past, I'm gonna do them again. So when you and I act like things are no big deal, it takes away all the pressure, all the fear, all the anxiety, it takes away the self-sabotage, and it positions us to get what we want. So remember, whatever it is, just start telling yourself, it's no big deal, and as it becomes smaller, you become bigger. So this is Tim with today's SE. Hope you found it awesome and helpful. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.